With the Northeast immersed in a humanitarian crisis due to armed conflict, the Food and Agricultural Organization, FAO, has kicked off an agricultural livelihood support program for those taking refuge in host communities in Borno State. In this special report, TVC News correspondent Jesse Tafida takes a look at the FAO's support to residents of host communities. Since 2016, the Food and Agriculture Organization, FAO, reached out to about 40,000 households in the Northeast with various kinds of agricultural livelihood support programs. This is Gonglong, a community in Jerry local government area of Borno State, where over 10,000 people are taking refuge. It is situated 22 kilometers from Maiduguri. FAO's agriculture program which was launched in April this year, is assisting idle fishermen in this community to be productive. With the support by FAO, I am now self-independent. I sell about five kilos of fish every day, each at the price of 1,300. Waste water from the ponds are used to water vegetable gardens. Through its livestock restocking campaign, FAO is supporting beneficiaries to build the productive asset bases with animals such as goat, rams, bulls and poultry. This support has helped me in many ways. I can now pay school fees for my children and sustain my family. This is the second bull I own. I sold the first one given to me by FAO at 90,000 naira. I used the money to buy this and cater the needs of my family. The organization also assists IDPs in Jerry, Konduga and MMC on energy stuff production where the beneficiaries get 8,000 naira every week. The FAO partners with the European Union, CEDA, USAID and other organizations in supporting the IDPs. Jesse Tafida, TVC News, Maiduguri.